Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2023 Mayor's Gala in the town of Miami Lakes. I hope you have a great night watching us. I'm John Roger, and we are going to be uh, going live for, I think, an hour on Facebook here in the town of Miami Lakes. I'm with the Special Needs Advisory Board, and we've got a lot of members of the Special Needs Advisory Board here tonight as well. We'll get a chance to talk with them, and you kind of learn a little bit about what we do in the town of Miami Lakes and why it makes such an important difference and why this night is so important as well. Uh, first off, we have a lot of people that we want to thank. First, thank you for tuning in this evening. If you weren't able to join us here tonight, or if you're on your way, either way, we're, we're welcome to have you here. But if you weren't able to join us tonight, there is going to be a link at the bottom of this video that you can click on that will allow you to donate to our cause. So make sure you click on the link and donate. Every single dollar that you donate tonight will be going to the Special Needs Advisory Board. And what is the Special Needs Advisory Board? Let's talk about that first. So our board was founded only a couple of years ago. We're actually a fairly new board here in the town of Miami Lakes. And our goal is to help make the town of Miami Lakes a, a model town for inclusion. What does that mean? Well, that means children with autism, children with cerebral palsy, adults with autism, those with special needs in our community, we put them first. We want to be able to give them what they need, the opportunities, give families help that they need when it comes to resources and activities in our community that works with other groups and with other opportunities as well so you're also being able to have you know families that are working one-on-one -on -one with neurotypical families at the same time trying to make that feeling where we all feel togetherness you know like the togetherness i think i remember that from a movie somewhere togetherness it sounds great that's what i like that's the theme for tonight so either way we appreciate what you do we have a lot of programs that we put together every year including folks like our, our specialty programs like arts for autism which does dance classes it happens every saturday here in our mary collins center we have three different classes for different ages and they get to dance and have a good fun time and our board helps put up the scholarships to allow students from our town our children from our town all the way up to a full-fledged adults be able to dance uh, we are starting some new programs too including uh, coming soon in our, an animation class program also a dojo program this is gonna be really cool I, I can't wait to talk a little bit about that later tonight uh, well, this is non-contact like karate so it's gonna be really cool and then there's a whole bunch of other stuff that we do as well but everything culminates down to this gala because this gala is where all of our funding comes unlike other committees in the town where they're funded through tax dollars ours are completely 100 percent donation from this event so when you come out here tonight or if you click the button below to donate that money goes straight to our board and then we use it to help people in our community with special needs all right so let me get a thank you to some of the sponsors that are here tonight uh we'll be talking to a few of them. matter of fact they're starting to walk in right now and let me tell you we have some big major sponsors this year and we are so grateful for their donations and their assistance in helping this event be what it is today uh, that includes our headliner sponsor for tonight which is univita medical centers they're new here in the town of miami lakes they just got a brand new building uh, right next to the palmetto it's really fabulous and we thank them so so much for putting up the big money tonight to make this event happen our friends at fantasy designers bacardi and of course we can't forget cellas they're here every single year helping with some of the great food that you get a chance to, to taste out here if you're coming out tonight you know i know some folks said that they're going to tune in early and uh, watch before they come in so that's great i also want to thank 30 hertz music they're gonna be playing some great djing tonight eight layers solution abraham ruse AC Graphics Digital, uh, Acebo Roofing, Acosta Tractors, Bel Air Maintenance, Cooling Power, Dr. Limon Ceviche Bar is going to be here tonight, too. And they are always good people. The EZ Pharmacy in Hollandale, First Origin Mortgage, uh, Floridian Clinical Research, Gatesti Lopez and Mestre, LLC, uh, Glenda Anders, Lakes Dialysis Center, Lake Orthodontics, Lazaritos Barbershop back again, the Mayor's Cafe, of course, you can't forget them, Miami Lakes Auto Mall, Miami Lakes Med Spa, Miami Luxury Auto Rental, uh, New Century Ag Culture, New Century Government Affairs, Nicholas Children's Hospital, glad to have them on board this year, NSU Medical, Power Parties, Rolo Transport, the list keeps going. That shows you how great this town is. 
SFM Services, Sierra Medical Center, Specialty Smiles Orthodontics, Sun City Strategies, Tank Brewing, The Graham Companies, the office of Senator Rene Garcia, Trailers Cottage, uh, Tommy's Tuxedos, Vicky Bakery, Vita Custom Designs, Vita's Healthcare, and Vivo Real Estate. That, folks, is a list. Over 40 people helping to make this event happen tonight. And uh, eventually, we're going to get a chance to talk to the folks from Univita Uni- uh, Medical Center. So they're going to be coming over here and chatting with us about what they're doing. And they're new. You know, of course, they're new here in our town, but they've been around for many years. Also, at the end of our broadcast, somewhere in here, we'll speak to Mayor uh, Manny Sid, which is it was his idea to put this event together to help get the donations in. So in the meantime, though, thanks for tuning in and thanks for watching with us. Uh, if you know what, the first thing up, why don't we talk a little bit more about what the board is going to do. And I have one of our board members who's going to come join me here in a second. Pick one. <laughs> Whoever wants to go, we actually have people coming in. We have photos being taken, and and uh, we'll be having the doors open up until about 7:30 when we kick things off tonight. So join me. First person that we're going to talk to is one of the members of our board, and this is Madeline. Madeline, hi. How you doing tonight? I'm doing great. Awesome. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. This is exciting. Uh, you know, every year it seems like we one up ourselves on this event. And it looks beautiful. Everything looks amazing. Tonight's theme is Hollywood Nights. Uh, last year, we were like in the in the gangster era. This year, we're Hollywood Nights, so everything is like Hollywood themed. I know you were, I saw you back there looking at some of the auction items, and we've got so many folks that donated auction items. Tell us a little bit of what you saw. Well, we have um, gift cards from Flanagan's, from BB Bakehouse. We have a lot of sports memorabilia, and a lot of restaurants, paintings, beautiful auction items some of that sports memorabilia back there was pretty interesting they had autographed baseball baseball cards and jerseys a ton of jerseys i think i even saw a kansas city chiefs jersey in there and if i had made a little extra money tonight i might have been bidding on that a dan marino jersey sign a dan marino jersey back there too and then also we have messy we have a messy shoe and autograph didn't i see a glove was that muhammad ali yes I believe so. So then there's not only that, but there's a lot of different things that we'll be having on the auction items tonight. So let's talk a little bit about the Special Needs Advisory Board. Um, you know, we've been around for a little while. And you've been involved in, in other committees that are here in town as well as our board. And we're really stepping it up, you know, in the last year trying to you know, basically recuperate from COVID that shut everything that we were doing down. And now we're, we've got a solid plan for 2024 with uh, – every other month we're going to be doing some type of training it sounds like it's going to be an opportunity for families that live in the town to get all the information that they're going to be needing yes it's a wonderful opportunity it's a i love the workshops and our trainings they come in very handy they're very informative and it helps out everyone in the community sounds good well madeline thanks for talking with us for a bit i see vivian over there she's like no keep me away you're coming in later I'm going to be on the air for an hour. I'm going to need your help. We do have some special uh, VIPs that are here. I know they just walked in, uh, but our, our, our great lady, Gabby, she's rounding them up so that we can talk to them. Uh, while, we're, <laughs> yeah, while we're doing that, why don't we invite the folks from Vita to come over here and talk with us. Vita Custom Designs tonight, you guys actually have some really unique stuff. So tell us about this and, and how, the, how the idea came together to uh, partner up for like these great cups so it was manny's idea to try to come up with um a different way to help raise funds for the special needs advisory board um so together we brainstormed an idea of something that would be useful to be able to take home and be able to enjoy it all the time so we have these great tumblers that we're actually selling here tonight all the proceeds will benefit the special needs advisory board um we have different designs so we have the logo for tonight you could do just the name Um, Or you can do both the logo and the name. And if you're not able to be here tonight, we do have the sale also going on online at vcdnow.com. You can actually purchase these online to be able to help support the Special Needs Advisory Board. And again, all the proceeds will go to benefit um, a great committee that we have here, a part of our town in Miami Lakes. And online, there is an exclusive design, so you can only get that online. It's a seamless design, which is beautiful. Let's talk a little bit about the cup itself. Um, it looks like it's very high quality. It is. Um, it's a 10-ounce tumbler, double wall insulated, so it's good for hot or for cold. 
Um, it's very convenient for your coffee. If you're having a drink by the pool, something to be able to enjoy. They make great gifts. So if you're looking to start shopping for Christmas early, these make a great gift for you. That's what I was going to say. Let's get them for Christmas. Not only to, you know, help to get your shopping done early, but, you know, obviously it's supporting the special needs advisory board. So that's awesome. Well, thank you for putting this together. Now, where come, you said uh, there was a website that folks can go to if they're not going to be able to be here tonight where they can actually take the opportunity to, uh, to build their own or buy one just custom. Uh, where's that at? VCDnow.com. VCDnow.com. All right, guys. VCD, Vita Custom Designs. Thank you so much. I didn't get your name. What was your name? My name is Cynthia. Cynthia. So you everybody know Cynthia now. Now you know who Cynthia is. And when you when you buy a cup, make sure you put in the little notes. Thanks, Cynthia. Thank you, Cynthia. Appreciate your time tonight. Thank you. So we're here at the 2023 Mayor's Gala as we uh, get ready to start activities uh, at the 730 hour. Seems like we're not going to be... Uh, we're not going to be starting for a while, so we got a lot to talk about. Uh, I want to remind you, if you just tuned in, you know, this might be your first time watching, that we do have a link on the bottom of the description of this video. And if you go down there and you look through it, blah, 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 right? Go, and then down at the bottom, there's a link. Click on that link, and that will allow you to go to our website and be able to donate to the Special Needs Advisory Board. You know, we, we do this gala every year, and we wish that the whole town could be here but unfortunately the building is only allowed to have 159 people in it. and uh if we tried to fit anything more the fire department would throw us out so either way uh you know you can always watch here for a little bit at least until the event gets started and you can click that link and donate and all the funds you raise go to the special needs advisory board so we can continue helping children and adults with special needs in our community and the various different ways that we do that uh, coming up in just a bit, I'm hoping that we're going to chance to talk to Univita Medical Center. They are the big headliner for tonight. Uh, it's the first time we've ever done this either. Uh, we've, we've decided we would offer a headlining opportunity. They came in. They said, you know what? We want to back up the special needs board and the town will be a part of it. So we're excited to talk to them and hear about their story and their new building that's right now no located next to the Paul meadow and and learn more about what you can learn from them as well so it's some good information as soon as they're done i think they're taking pictures right now in the meantime i'd like to speak to vivian our co-chair and she can talk a little bit about some of the programs that we are offering here in the town of miami lakes now we, we mentioned earlier we've got so many programs and we're trying to add more and more both for children for adults come on in here vivian it's all right vivian's our co-chair and, and honestly uh vivian has been with the board since the beginning she was chair for a long time and vivian thanks for talking with me tonight so i wanted to talk to you about programs you know you kind of have your hands wrapped around a lot of the programs and have helped start some of the programs in here let's talk a little bit about arts for autism tell me a little bit about that program yes um arts for autism is an amazing dance program that takes place on Saturdays at uh, Mary Collins Community Center. Uh, we got two, we have two uh, levels for the classes. Uh, level one is for the younger kids. Level two is for teenagers and older. Uh, my own son, Ryan, uh, he has autism and he's been attending the class. He loves it. The kids love it. The staff is fantastic. And um, you know, that that's what we're here for. And we have a couple of other programs um coming down the pike um an animation program and a martial arts program that hopefully will be starting soon here in the town now that animation program i know it's going to take a little bit before it gets started but it's really interesting because this one we're trying to gear this one for those that are adults in our community you found it and brought it to the board and said i think this is going to be a great opportunity tell us a little bit about what exactly it is i mean when you say animation it could be drawing it could be computers what, what exactly is it well, um, first of all, there is a huge need for the community of adults uh, with special needs. So we wanted to bring something to the town that addresses that need. And we found this animation class that um, the Miami-Dade County Cultural Affairs Committee has been doing, but it, it, it cuts off at 21. So ours would be the first one that's gonna go 21 and over. So it's gonna address that population. And basically the class is an introduction to animation. So, you know, they'll start out by drawing something and they'll be learning how to um, bring that to life in animation. So it's like an introduction, you know, and if you've never, they've never, um, 
dealt with animation before, that's okay. This is the best way to, to get familiar with it and begin. And, you know, maybe it could lead to a career for them. And that's, you know, what we're hoping for. That's fantastic. I'm getting text messages already from some of our folks saying, hey, we see you on the Facebook Live, and it's uh, really great. And it is great, that's for sure. So that was the second uh, program. Another program we have mentioned were, is the martial arts one, which we I mentioned a few minutes ago was kind of cool because this is going to be like a dojo program, but it's all non-contact. I've never heard of anything like that. No, it's amazing. Um, this program is for all ages. Um, it's an excellent program. The teacher, um, the sensei, actually, that's how, how you say it. The, the sensei is amazing. He has a ton of experience. And, um, you know, we're really looking forward to getting this started. And, um, you know, what can I say? Um, the, this is what the Mayor's Gala is all about. You know, it's bringing these programs to the town, you know, open for everybody. We're very, very excited. So, you know, please donate, you know, whatever you can. You know, it's, it's, this is a great cause. You know, it's, it's really interesting that you mentioned about the donations because one of the things I've been telling everybody is that it's not just these programs, it's not just these special events that we might do once in a while, but we also donate money back into community programs or community uh, organizations in our town that help children and adults with special needs. One of those that you've been involved with for a long time, great gal here in town, Madeline. Uh, did I say Madeline? I did. I, I think Madeline, not, not that Madeline, um, forgive me, she's going to kill me for saying that. Well, talk about uh, Hope for Autism. Right. Well, Ho Hope for Autism has been around in the town of Miami Lakes for, you know, over 20 years. Um, it started with a mom. Her name is Marianela Alvarez. And uh, her son, when he got diagnosed with autism over 20 years ago, um, there was not much around um, as far as, you know, social uh, programs, you know, anything really for her son to make friends. So she started having these groups and, um, you know, having little events and parents started joining her. And now there's over 100 families in the group. It's a great organization. They, um, they put on a talent show. They put on a fashion show. They have a holiday party. I mean, they're just great for our community supporting them and um, sponsoring some of their events. I'm, I'm looking forward to the chastising Marianella is going to give me when she knows I called her Marilyn. No, I called her Marilyn now. <laughs> Madeline, Marilyn, everyone's got an M name tonight, okay? You can call me, call me Mark. There we go. Actually, that's my brother's name, believe it or not. All right, one final thing. I know you need to get back. She's in charge of all of our intro stuff here tonight, so uh, you, you look fabulous, by the way, Vivian. Uh, so one final thing. Thank you. We also, you know, put some money towards another great program in our town, and that's Gigi's Playhouse. Now, one of the board's uh, members is actually Clary, and she helped. Um, she's not going to be here. I don't think she's going to be here tonight, but Gigi's is another one because, it's, you know, everyone says, oh, well, it's special needs. It's autism, autism, autism. Well, no, there's other special needs out there, and one of them is cerebral palsy, and that's what their organization were. I'm sorry, my bad. Down syndrome. That's one of the things that their organization works on is Down syndrome. And they have I, – I'm so, I was so shocked the other day when I drove by. They have that place packed with families. It's not just Miami Lakes families, families from all over coming, but they're, they're making such a huge difference in Miami-Dade County, and people are recognizing it. Yes. Yeah, they have – they're another organization that has fantastic programs. They have a cooking class that we actually – have sponsored and will continue to sponsor um, for the kids and adults. They have a fitness class. They have a tutoring. They have um, trainings for parents. They're another organization, Gigi's Playhouse, that we love to support. Uh, they're right here in the town of Miami Lakes, and we're lucky that they chose the town, um, you know, to to bring this amazing achievement center. They're they're actually called an achievement center for um, Down syndrome um, participants along with other participants. My son, Ryan, he has autism, like I said before, and he also attends a lot of Gigi's events. I think a lot of folks um, have, are coming to learn about us, and one of the things that they learn is that most of the members of our board, we, we're not just here because it looks like fun. We're here because we have family members 
or our own children um, who have some type of special needs. I have two boys with special needs. You have one. You know, Clary has uh, the, the group work that she does at Gigi's and so on. And I'm sure we'll meet some more members of the board tonight. But, Vivian, thank you so much for sharing everything. I'm sure we'll talk to you one more time before the night is over. And uh, enjoy the rest of the event for now. Thank you so much, John. Thank you. Uh, definitely. Co-chair right there, vice chair, uh, Vivian. And I was, what was I going to say? Oh, that's right. What she was mentioning earlier that these programs, we, we fund these programs through the money in our board. And, again, I, our board is not actually a government-funded board. We don't receive any tax money for this. What we do is we raise money. It's all nonprofit. It's all done through the Mayor's Gala, which is what we're here for. For tonight so every dollar raised from this event every dollar raised from our auction items every dollar raised from the stuff you buy like Vita custom designs who we just talked to a few minutes ago with their special mayor's gala cups and the link that's right below you right now you can click on it right there on the Facebook live video and you can donate as well everything raised goes to the board we do a big check presentation at the final uh, board membership and I was what is it called it's uh, the night when we do the council town council meeting on November, we present the check, we find out how much we raised, and then that budget goes into our budget for next year, and we offer those programs like Arts for Autism, the animation classes that are coming, uh, also the dojo program that's coming, the donations we do to agencies like Gigi's, uh, like uh, Hope for Autism, and, of course, we mentioned a little bit earlier, our series again, the programs that we do, our, our special training programs. We'll be doing them every other month. I think we're going to kick off maybe in November. I, we were working towards a November deadline, if not definitely uh, coming in February of 2024. And what this is, is this is where we're going to, we're going to bring in experts in different fields to talk to you, your families, your friends, and teach a little bit about each different thing involved with autism. It could be, well, and, and also special needs in general. We have, last time we did the one with the town attorney and talked about guardianship and how important guardianship is for you and your special needs child. So that's the type of programming we're going to have. We'll have uh, BCBAs, RBTs, and what have you uh, down the road. Even nutrition programs we're working on as we go into 2024 and these events are completely free the board pays for them we pay for the specialists to come in we'll offer food and drink and have a great time so you get to learn more about what you need to know by the way speaking of learning to need to know things we have a spot on the town website if you haven't checked it out yet at the town of miami lakes website where you can click on special needs advisory board and we have two things there that are very important number one we have a directory where we've listed out all of the companies and nonprofits and organizations that can help you with whatever you need, whether it's work with Medicaid, whether it's work with your child, whether it's uh, doing therapies, what have you. All the details are there. You can search through them and see where you need to talk to, like the great organizations like UM Card and uh, other groups like them who help you through the process. Also on there is our special needs safety program this is something new that we've offered now we used to call it a, a registry we don't try to call it anymore it's now safety program because we've moved this into the ultimate where it's really this opportunity for you anyone in town of miami lakes to have connection to the miami dade police department so that if something were to happen and you have a special needs residence whether it's a a, a child with autism or an adult who has alzheimer's and something happens and one of our town uh, police departments have to come out or maybe you're somewhere in Miami-Dade County and Miami-Dade County has to come out. They will have the information you provide through the safety program so that when they arrive, they know to turn the lights down, not to uh, knock hard on the door. Uh, if this person is lost, they'll be able to find out who they are because we give these specialty bracelets and stickers that you can put on your house to recognize it. And the information also goes into the police department so that they are aware when they are coming up, they know, hey, this child has autism. Hey, this one has sensory friendly issues. Hey, this adult has, uh, you know, an issue with memory and he he gets lost a lot and we can get him back to his house so you can learn more about the safety program on the website and it's getting even better i've got some great details about that a little bit later on but that's where you can find out the information so where are the vips <laughs> if you can find them grab them and bring them in here i'd love the chance to talk to them about what they're doing to help us out here tonight at the mayor's gala and by the way if you can't make it out tonight if you didn't get a chance to get a ticket 
don't miss it for next year. We're already starting to plan for next year. But uh, you can also donate on the link below, just below where I'm talking to you right now. Just click the link, and you can donate anything you want. You can donate a dollar. You can donate a hundred dollars. It doesn't matter. Uh, whatever we get your donation, it comes right to our board, and we continue to help provide things and information and, and great programs to the residents of the town of Miami Lakes. So while we're waiting for our VIPs, let's talk about some of the things the board has planned for 2024. One of the things that we've presented to the town council that we're working on is trying to put together a new uh, autism-friendly park, a sensory autism-friendly park. Now, we're not going crazy. The goal here is that we are in the very, very beginning phases of this concept. What we want to do is we're going to work with the Parks and Rec Department. We're going to work with the town council. We're going to talk to all of the, uh, the members of the board. And we're going to work with some uh, engineers to see in one of our city parks, where can we build something that's sensory friendly? We have the Boundless Park. I don't know if you're familiar with this or not. Last year, we put some money towards renovating that park, and it has been completely renovated. It looks fantastic. And it has the opportunity for those who are in a wheelchair to be able to go up and down, have a good time on a playground, because it is not restricted like a regular park would be. That's our the special needs autism park that we're working on is more of a sensory friendly with fun little t foam toys and different sensory friendly ideas uh, and a place that you can be able to play and we're going to be working on that in the next couple of years as it goes by we'll keep you posted on that because it's going to be fantastic once we get a site located once we get it all done our goal here is to get this thing put together without charging a dime our goal is to get donations to make it happen. We're going to put money from our board towards it. We're going to raise funds for it. We're going to work for, for grants to make it happen. So when this does come through, it's going to be something our town will be super proud of. And we're hoping to get that started in the next year. Uh, just the beginning phases of that as well. And that would be doing some blueprint work, looking at what the different spaces that are available and what we can do to make it happen. That's just one thing that we're working on. Because we've had a lot of folks tell us, hey, we, we need another sensory friendly park in our community and i said yeah i agree so we got to work on that that's one of our great things that's on top of all the other stuff that we've started working on uh we do have our guests now we're just waiting for uh her to get the she's getting the paperwork i see i have people behind me that are pointing at me and i'm not sure what i'm supposed to be doing with that mario's over here hi mario how are you there you go and it, people are starting to come in. It's actually really nice. Um, it's been a nice night out, actually. It's not raining out right now. So definitely it's a, a good evening for this event to take place. And we're very thankful to all of the sponsors who have helped us put it together again. While we wait for that details to come forward, I want to thank our, our big sponsors for tonight. Of course, our headliner, Univita Medical Centers. Our designers for our sets was Fantasy Designers. Our cocktails are courtesy of Bacardi tonight. And our food, once again, brought to you by cellas right there on main street gabby what do you got for me that's some information all right all right bring them on in over here come on in over guys you can stay right here by me. all right it's all live all the time right so these are our vips with first origin first origin mortgage, mortgage lenders okay uh ray okay i got everybody here ray, i don't think it's ray just ray yet. Ray and Yamet. Okay, Ray and Yamet. Thank you guys for joining us here. So first thing, tell us a little bit about your business. Okay, well, we're uh, First Origin Mortgage Lenders. We're uh, a mortgage lender right here in Miami Lakes, and uh, we've been in Miami Lakes since uh, 20, uh, 2007, actually. Yeah, yeah, so we've been here for quite a bit, for about 14, almost 15 years now. Was it something where you lived close by, or you just decided, hey, Miami Lakes is the place to be? Well, we, we grew up, and we did live in Miami Lakes for, for a little bit of time and uh, we, we've always loved Miami Lakes it's always been in our hearts um, when I first opened up the company it was down in Doral and within two years we moved it to Miami Lakes because that's where we really needed to be so that's fantastic what are some of the um, mortgage like when it comes to mortgage like you, you're doing you do all forms of mortgage or just residential yep all forms residential and commercial <laughs> and with the rates as high as they are right now how's that going <laughs> it's still going pretty well it's still going pretty well Thank so, yeah, that's good. that's good. Well, thank you guys for being here. I appreciate it. So what made you want to be involved with uh, the mayor's charity gala? Well, number one, we're going to we're going to take the mayor's money in the uh, casino area. That's uh, a, a definite. Um, and besides that, we, we love giving back. We love the community of Miami Lakes. We love the mayor. And uh, and, you know, when it comes to charity, it, it's, that's who we are. Yeah, I understand last year it got so bad that he actually had to open his wallet and put some of the money on the table. Right. 
<laughs> yeah, we're going to make him do more than that this year. Oh, good. You see, I'm going to put his car up, right? Yep, uh, absolutely. <laughs> Well, Ray and Yamet, thank you guys for being here. I really appreciate it. You, you enjoying the festivities as well? Have you seen some of the auction stuff? Yes. We're, we're we have our to... eye of, on some couple of things. I'm not going to say it because, you know. Don't worry. Everybody listening isn't coming tonight. I think I think they're just watching us. Oh, we got some sneakers. <laughs> Definitely. Well, guys, I appreciate your time tonight. Thank you for helping make this event possible. And if folks want to learn more about the mortgage company, if, if they want to come see you guys, where can they find out more details? Well, we're right off of 154th, right off the Palmetto. You'll see our uh, logo on, on uh, one of the buildings there, right on Frontage Road. So, all right. I thank you, guys. Have a great night. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Well, there we go, folks. The 2023 Mayor's Gala. Glad you could uh, join us here on Facebook Live, the town of Miami Lakes. That's where we're streaming at right now. And a big thank you to all who have been texting me. I'm sorry I haven't been grabbing my phone because... I haven't stopped talking since I started talking, which is kind of the thing I do. Either way, make sure you check on the link below. Uh, there's a link down there at the bottom of the uh, description in the video where you can help donate to tonight. If you're not able to make it out, if you did not have a chance to get a ticket for tonight, you can donate. And by clicking on that link, that money goes straight to the Special Needs Advisory Board, which is what we're all about here for tonight. And by the way, I do think you still can come out I believe we still have a couple of tickets that are available here, but you have to bring a check. That's what I heard. So either way, uh, if you want to come out, you might be able to still get a ticket to come on in. Okay. Well, let's see. I'm going to take this back here, and we'll talk a little bit more about some of our other sponsors. You know, I mentioned uh, at the beginning of the broadcast that we have a, over 40 sponsors tonight. I think this is the most sponsors that we have ever seen for this gala. And this is how great the town of miami lakes is our community comes together when it comes to a need like this they're like we're in so bacardi is here for us tonight 30 hertz music eight layer solutions abraham ruse uh, ac graphics digital uh, acebo roofing acosta Tractors, bell air maintenance cooling power they're providing our extra air conditioning for tonight Dr. Lamone Ceviche, some of the best ceviche in town, let me tell you that. Easy Pharmacy of Hallandale, obviously, uh, being a part of it tonight. Uh, we just spoke to First Origin Mortgage. They were here as well as uh, Floridian Clinical Research, Gatesi, Lopez, and Mestre, PLLC, Glenda Anders, Lake Dialysis Center, Lakes Orthodontics, Lazaro, Lazarito's Barber Shop, uh, the Mayor's Cafe, of course, Miami Lakes Auto Mall, Miami Lakes Med Spa, Miami Luxury Auto Rental, New Century Agriculture, New Century Government Affairs, Nicholas Children's Hospital, NSU Med U Power Parties, Rolo Transport, I can turn my sheet here, SFM Services, Sierra Medical Center, Specialty Smiles Orthodontics, Sun City Strategies, Tank Brewing, The Graham Companies, The Office of Senator Renee Garcia, Trellis Cottage, Tommy's Tuxedos, Vicky Bakery, Vita Custom Designs, Vitas Healthcare, and Vivo Real Estate. Thank you guys for helping sponsor the event tonight, as well as our title sponsor, the Univita Medical Centers here at the Mayor's Charity Gala. It is Hollywood Nights. And I am John Roger, the chairman of the Special Needs Advisory Board, here with you this evening, bringing you this broadcast that will go till 7.30, and then the festivities get underway and we'll be uh, well, over there on the other side, having a good time. There's a casino layout here. This is what this is like. If you've never been to a Mayor's Gala, they have like these casino tables where you spend Manny money. I'm not sure if you can see this on the wall here, but we have Manny money. That's right. It's all Manny's money. We take it straight from his bank account. He doesn't know it. <laughs> when he wakes up tomorrow, he's going to be broke. But either way, he uh, helps put all that money out of the table. Then when everything raised goes back to the Special Needs Advisory Board along with everything we raised from the auction tonight. My assistant, Gabby, is back here again. She's got another list of sponsors that are here with me tonight. All right, bring them on over here. Come right over here. So the folks from Lakes Dialysis Center are here today. Thank you, guys. Come on over here. They're all afraid to come over. It's okay. <laughs> A little bit more, I think. One more? We got one more? Three more. Three more. Keep piling in here. I'll have to ask Jonathan if we're all on the screen. Jonathan, can you see if we're all on the screen? I'm not sure. Come on over here, guys. So I have with me the whole the whole team is here. These are the who's the doctors? Dr. Pla, Dr. Ferreira, next to him. This is our nurse next to you. My goodness, I think you know what? I'm just going to have you guys go by uh, one by one and say your, your name because I think that would be a lot easier. So what's your name? My name is Maria Lawrence. Maria. 
My name is Suzette, and I'm the CEO of Lake Dialysis. Awesome. Alma Hernandez. Alejandro Pla, and the medical director for Lake Dialysis. And Dr. Jose Pereira. Guys, well, thank you so much for being here. So you're kind of the leader of the group, is that right? Uh, yes. So tell us, tell us a little bit about Lake Dialysis Center. You know, what, what is it that you guys offer to the community? So we've been in Miami Lake since uh, 2010, so 13 years now, and we provide uh, dialysis services in center. We also provide uh, in-house dialysis in different nursing homes, and we do uh, a special type of dialysis, which is home dialysis, but we provide staff assisted. So it's not the dialysis where people dialyze themselves, but we actually send a nurse to go dialyze a patient in their house for those patients that need that service. That is important because when we talk about special needs, a lot of folks are always like, oh, it's just autism, right, or, or, or what have you. And I always remind folks, no, our board is not an, the autism board of, of Miami Lakes. It's the special needs advisory board because special needs includes people who are not able to get out of their house. It includes people that are dealing with Alzheimer's and people that, that are having uh, medical issues. And that is is a special need in itself that you offer that allows people to be stay in their home and have someone come help them right and and the thing with that is that not a lot of people know that because when they think of home dialysis they think of when you get trained you or a family member and then you dialyze yourself which could be a little bit scary but we offer that that extra step which is actually providing a licensed staff member to go and dialyze into selecting a place to go what made you pick Miami Lakes it's just uh, the feel of uh, the community, a town, uh, you know, a little bit more um, family oriented. Yeah. Smaller, Smaller right? Smaller, yeah. So it, feels like, it feels like a you small to town. Know people, right? You're not just lost in the shuffle, you know, so you get to know people, you get to know your neighbors and your fellow colleagues and, and business owners. So, yeah. And how did you land these fantastic doctors over here who look like absolute professionals? Oh, they're, <laughs> they're the best, and I'm really lucky to, to have them. It was. Uh, it was a, a, a long and, and hard search to find the right, you know, team, and I, I do pride myself in having an amazing team. You know, without that team, we wouldn't be here 13 years later. I don't want to make it just you talking, so I'm going to get a chance to have everybody talk. Are you enjoying the night so far? Have you seen any of the things from the auction item? Oh, yeah. I see a, some balls that I like, um, a helmet. I saw some cards back there, so, yeah. We have a lot of sports memorabilia here tonight. I can tell you that for sure. Guys, um, why did you guys want to get involved with the Special Needs Advisory Board and the, and the Town of Miami Lakes Mayor's Gala? Well, it's, it's very important to, to be able to uh, provide support for special needs. And, you know, we deal with patients that are special needs, so we know how important it is to be able to reach out to them, support them in the community. So that's why we're here. Well, we're glad for what you do. If folks want to learn more about the business or learn more about the services that you're offering, how can they find that? Um, so they could go um, online, and it's called our website is lakesdialysiscenter.com. They could also follow us on Instagram. It's Lakes Dialysis on Instagram. Or they could just call us, 305-817-8508. And she gave me the card now so I can keep reading it over and over again. <laughs> Well, guys, I appreciate you all coming out here. Um, thank you so much. I don't want to keep you from the fun that is happening behind that wall. So why don't you guys head on back into the party, and, and we'll, we'll see you later. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you guys. Appreciate it. So these are some of our amazing sponsors. Thank you, too. These are some of our amazing sponsors that are helping put this event together tonight. A big thank you to Lakes Dialysis Center, and I hope they have a great night as well. Like you said, you can check them out here in Miami Lakes at Lakes Dialysis on social media. So... What are we talking about? Let's talk about the Special Needs Advisory Board for those who may have just now started tuning in. So what the tonight's all about is it's the Mayor's Gala. The Mayor puts this gala together to help raise funds for the Special Needs Advisory Board, which we what we do in the board is we help people in our community with uh, trying to make our town more inclusive. We, our goal is to actually make it the most inclusive town in all of South Florida. Florida, and so far, we've done pretty good at it. Um, we want to continue to do great work like we do with our programs for dance classes, animation classes, uh, for the uh, events that we're putting together. One of our ideas that has been put onto the board that we are working on right now is an inclusion run. Uh, this is going to be the opportunity to mix people with special needs and those with, that are neurotypical, and we're going to do a run. Actually, it's a long 
way off for now. Just give us some time to put it together. But we've been talking about putting this together between the town of Miami Lakes and the town of Hialeah. Uh, and I know that Mayor Bovo over there has been talking with us about doing a, a joint program. They're very excited about it. So coming up in a couple of years, we can see this giant 5K be a part of what we do, which is opening up the community and showing everyone that we can all live together and have a great life. So that's one of the things that we're working on, and you can be a part of that by donating now. If you go on the bottom of this video in the description, there's a link there. You can click the link, and you can click to donate. Every dollar you donate goes straight to the Special Needs Advisory Board here in the town of Miami Lakes, and we'll put that money to good work for you. I can promise you that. I am the chairman of the board, John Roger, and you've maybe, if you were watching earlier on, you've seen some of the members of our board. Vivian is here today. Uh, she is our, uh, our co-chair, the vice chair chair of the board and had been the former chair for many years also uh, gabby is here gabby is our leader our liaison we also have uh, madeline here tonight who uh, is a member of our board and also a member of some other boards in town she helps organize some of our events we're still waiting for a few others to get in here as well and that includes our, our friend uh, francisco and a few others that'll be here tonight we'll hopefully talk to them and find a little bit more about what they think about what we're doing here for tonight hopefully we're going to talk to the mayor at some point i know he's coming but a lot of people are starting to make their way in. The VIPs are here. I can already see they're waving at me. Hello. Thank you for coming in. We appreciate it. So uh, thanks for tuning in, by the way. Thank you for tuning in because I know some of you weren't able to make it out here tonight. What we're hoping for is being able to give you an opportunity to, to get a feel of the event, a little bit of the event at least, uh, before we get kicked off. And maybe next year you can join us by buying tickets or buying a lot of folks bought a table here tonight, and that allows them to have great space in there. And plus, we got our drinks and our food. I got a big sponsors for that. A big thank you to uh, the folks over at Chella's. How can we forget Chella's? If you've never had Chella's food, trust me, you are going to be shocked. They have some of the best Mexican food here in town, and it's a specialty Mexican. It's not just your typical Mexican food, specialty Mexican food. Uh, and they also have some of the best drinks in town as well. The folks at Chela's have been big supporters of the Mayor's Gala for a long time. We thank them so much for being here. Also, Bacardi is back tonight. They're doing the drinks to us this evening. We didn't get the chance to have them last year, but we were so grateful for the folks that did help us last year uh, from the different uh, organizations. Dr. Lamone, I believe he had his three restaurants here in town. Uh, uh, they came in and did some specialty drinks that were just out of this world. I don't know. I can remember the one with the glass bulb. That was really cool. So a big thank you to them for everything that they have done. Uh, and they're here tonight, I believe, as well. But uh, Bacardi, back and in, in, in full fashion, they are bringing out the drinks, and it's all part of this event tonight. Well, we still have some more uh, VIPs that are making their way in. Unfortunately, they're not ready to talk to us just yet, so you get to listen to me a little bit longer. Uh, but uh, we'll hopefully get a chance to talk to some members of the board as well and kind of talk about some of the programs that we are working on for next year. We haven't really started the uh, official full schedule, but we've started putting down some ideas. And we'd love to hear from you, by the way. You can uh, send us an email to the town. Send the email to the town and let us know what uh, programs that you would like for us to help put together. You know, last year I think we did a, a program with an ABA and a, a BCBA team that came and talked about therapy and how important it is for those with children with autism. We've had the town attorneys come in. They talked about guardianship. If you don't know anything about guardianship, this one is difficult because there's so many legal loops that you have to go through in order to be able to have guardianship over your uh, child with special needs before they turn 18. That way, the decisions that are made are kept with you rather than having them become a full adult because if they don't know what they're doing and they become a full adult there's some sad, some sad situations that have happened with other people uh in we've seen studies case after case reports on the news that you know it, they didn't know they didn't know and it was too late so that's something that we're gonna have probably come back again is our attorneys to come in and talk about guardianship and the legal ramifications of that so if you have some ideas uh, maybe some spots and events that you want us to bring in some someone special to do some speech on something that related to special needs we would love to hear from you you can simply go to the town's website and click on the email us now send us an email and make sure you put in the body of the email that this is for the special needs advisory board our team liaison gabby will make sure that we get it here wow man this place is getting packed right now i wish i could take us for a walk you know 
maybe we can. I'll grab Jonathan here in a minute um, and see if he can do that with us. Sorry. Uh, Jonathan, is it possible for us to take a walk? Why don't we take a walk? Let's go, let's go take a walk. I know the lighting is not going to be perfect, folks, so just try to bear with me. I'm going to let Jonathan, our cameraman, turn the camera around and kind of walk through the entrance of this event. So this is how it looks when you come in. We've got a lot of good folks here right now taking some pictures. But this is the entrance to the Mayor's Gala for 2023. It's a Hollywood Nights theme this year, and you see we've got the – cameras and the roses and everything is a very special thing a very special uh, feeling when you walk through getting a good look at that and then as you make your way back to the entrance back here you're going to get the amazing things we have different type of sports memorabilia that are here autographed baseballs autographed cards you know we're talking some of these uh, big t names that you might recognize Luis Castillo Dennis Martinez huh how about Tony Perez Pedro Ramirez and over here, this is my favorite thing. These are hand paintings done by people in our town, some of them from special needs children. So if you get a chance to bid on one of these tonight, this could be sitting in your living room. How about that? Uh, as we make our way down, we got more stuff. we got autographed baseball cards down here. And then at the end, these amazing jerseys that have been given to us. And, uh, you know, what is it, Miami Heat here? We've got Floyd, Floyd Mayweather's glove autographed got the Miami Dolphins. How could you go wrong with that? Here's Muhammad Ali's glove autographed. Tariq Hill from the Kansas City Chiefs. We've got basketballs. We've got footballs. We've got helmets autographed here tonight. And we a big thank you to the folks that helped donate these. All of these items are donated. Not one of them did we have to buy. These were all donated to us. The money comes back to us at the Special Needs Advisory Board. Here we got some specialty done paintings, um, kind of like that aqua feeling, a special nautical feeling, if you like those. Over here, this is really cool. If you are a music person like myself, Rihanna's and Eminem's autographed microphones from a concert. These are real concert microphones autographed. You could be bidding on them tonight. Look at this. They call that with a, a chartree board, I believe, for if you want to cut some cheese and some uh, great meats. We've got a big basket for tonight. The folks from Chelsea, uh, from the Trails Cottage, they put a huge box together. You get all this in one. And a big thank you, of course, to all of our restaurants and our local community here, all the uh, organizations from barber shops to gyms. They donate, and we'll get a chance to auction those all off tonight. All right, we're going to take a quick peek inside, let you see what the actual gala looks like. Many things, uh, if you haven't been able to do that before, this is the gala. Take, uh, excuse me, everybody, sorry. Go ahead, Jonathan, take a pan of this room here. This is the inside of our gala. So if you were able to come tonight, you would be in here with us playing at one of our tables if not, of course, you can always get a chair already. Oh, yeah, this is going to be fantastic. So when I'm telling you about how great the food is at Chellis, this is what I'm talking about. And they offer all this to you when you come to the event here tonight. You'll get a chance to sample and try a different variety of food all through the night. It changes throughout the night, too. It's not just one type of food. It's all through the night. Definitely a lot of fun. All right, we're going to head back up to the front now. As we get a chance, so you got your little sneak peek of the gala. Isn't that fun? <laughs> We're going to head back up to the front now and take the opportunity to hopefully talk to a few more of these guests. Hello, everyone. Got some great folks here. My good buddy Mario is here with me right now. Mario, How's hey. How's going, everybody? Everyone's having a great time. Good. Did you see if you've seen the inside so far? Yes, it actually looks very, very nice. Uh, uh, the sponsors, I think it's a party. Um, you know, the fantasy design. Yes, the fantasy design. They did a fabulous job this year. They actually do a fabulous job every year. Uh, so, yes. But if you, uh, uh, again, come out tonight. So uh, we'd like to thank everybody that bought tickets. It's for a great event. It's for a great cause. And we're going to have a great time. That's definitely for true. And, you know, we, 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 we walked through the room. It is The atmosphere is already electric in there. We saw the auction items for those who are watching. I know it's live. We're all live, and we're just walking around. People are probably like, what are you doing? No, this was a lot of fun. And the, the stuff that was donated is just this year is incredible. 
if you're a sports fanatic, uh, uh, the memorabilia for today is absolutely wonderful. You have uh, soccer, you have football, you have basketball. So if, if you come out, make sure you do the silent auction, and that's going to the great cause as well. Thank you so much, Mario. I appreciate it. Thank you. Go for another hour or two here, right? <laughs> I'm John Roger, the chairman of the Special Needs Advisory Board, and glad that you could join us here on Facebook Live, the town of Miami Lakes. We are working uh, on another special uh, uh, Hopefully, we're going to talk to some folks here in just a minute. I'm losing stuff. I'm just going to leave it there. Let me hand this to you, Jonathan, if you don't mind. i got a couple of sheets that I want to get out of my hands. Uh, is Gabby, is, are you, do you have anyone else for me, Gabby, yet? We need to talk to Univita. Definitely need to get them in here. So in the meantime, let's go through our sponsors list. Again, I can't thank these folks enough. 40, was it 43? Let me see here. I'll get an official count for you. My paper wants to come apart. 41 official sponsors for tonight. I think that's a record for us. I don't know how we did that. Uh, of course, our big headliner, our Hollywood headliner for tonight is Univita Medical Centers. They donated $10,000 for tonight to kick things off. That's how we started things. We are so grateful for their help. Uh, the, set, the set design was all done by our the fantasy designers. They have done a great job every year. Uh, Bacardi is back with the alcohol for tonight. Cellas has all the food there on Main Street. 30 Hertz Music, 8 Layer Solutions, Abraham Ruse, AC Graphics Digital, Acebo Roofing, Acosta Tractors, Bel Air Maintenance, Cooling Power. They're bringing us all of our cool air conditioning tonight. Dr. Lamone, EZ Pharmacy out of Hollandale, First Origin Mortgage, Floridian Clinical Research, Gatesi Lopez and Mestre, uh, Glenda Anders, Lake Dialysis Center, Lake Orthopedics, Lake Orthodontics, uh, Lazarito's Barbershop on Hialeah, Mayor's Cafe, Miami Lakes Auto Mall, Miami Lakes Med Spa, Miami Luxury Auto Rental, New Century Agriculture, New Century Government Affairs, Nicholas Children's Hospital, NSU Medical Center, Power Parties, Rolo Transport, SP, or I'm sorry, SFM Services, Sierra Medical Center, Specialty Smiles Orthodontics, Sun City Strategies, Tank Brewing, The Graham Companies, The Office of Senator Rene Garcia, Trellis Cottage, Tommy's Tuxedos, Vicky Bakery, Vita Custom Designs, Vitas Healthcare, and Vivo Real Estate. Big thank you to all of you who have helped us out. And you can help us out still for tonight as long as you get a chance to click on that link below. Right there under the video, you will be able to donate to our cause tonight. And that money goes straight to the Special Needs Advisory Board, helping us put together programs, community events, and all kinds of things that we do to make sure that folks with special needs in the and taken care of and joined in to make this town the most inclusive town in the county. And that's what we do. You know what? Let me see if I can get the folks from Vita to come back over here again real quick. You can tap on her shoulder. Come back over here and um, bring me another one of those uh, cups. Let's so talk to her for a minute. Because yeah, not only are we doing some of these great things tonight, this is another great thing that we have going on for tonight. Uh, the folks from Vita are here. This is a specialty cup that you can get for tonight, and not just at the event. Correct. So we actually are doing these sales also online at vcdnow.com, which all the proceeds from the sales of these personalized tumblers will go to the Special Needs Advisory Board. So what are these tumblers? Tell me a little bit about it. So these are 10-ounce double wall insulated tumblers, so they're perfect for any hot or cold beverage, and it will maintain the temperature for hours. Um, we have different designs available online. You're able to either get the event exclusive design, even though you're not here, we still want to make it available for you. You're able to also just personalize your name and know it does not need to be Manny. <laughs> I'm sure you sure you want to be like, this is my cup, it's, I'm Manny now. <laughs> exactly. Um, we also have a seamless design, which is a wraparound Hollywood Nights design, only available online for those that will be purchasing. So tell me, uh, where can they go to get this ordered again? They could go to vcdnow.com. vcdnow.com. Thank you so much. I know you're busy over there with sales, so thanks for coming by. Our, uh, our representative, uh, Gabby, has actually got another group coming in here in just a second, so we're looking forward to talking to her. And by the way, if you want to learn more about the Special Needs Advisory Board, you can always log on to the town's website. We have our own spot there on the website, and there you will be able to find a number of different things, including our special needs Safety program. The special needs safety program is huge. It allows us to connect.
connect you with the local police department and be able to let them know about the people with special needs in your home. And that way, if they're ever called out, it's not like they're coming in blind. They actually know, hey, this person has sensory issues. Hey, this person has Alzheimer's. They don't remember what's going on. So they'll be able to come in and say, we know what's happening and not be confused. So many times you'll see stories all across the country of police departments having to go to a, a, a call and not being able to know what they were walking into until it was too late. Well, that's what we're trying to stop here in the town of Miami Lakes. And a lot of different towns around the area have actually started copying this, the design that we came up with, which is fabulous. We're glad to see it happening. The safety program is our program, and it's right here for you in the town of Miami Lakes. You get your information into the Miami Dade Police Department, so it doesn't matter if it's a cop here from Miami Lakes or anyone in Miami Dade County, they'll know exactly what to do. You get a little wristband that comes with it as well. You can wear that at all times. It's rubber made, so it doesn't, you can take it to the shower, you don't have to take it off. And a sticker for your window that you can also put in there when the police come to the front door. That's the other thing we do also is the uh, red directory. We have a directory on our website of the Town of Miami Lakes right under Special Needs Advisory Board that shows you all of the special needs programs in our community and nonprofit groups that can help you with your transition, learning about special needs, learning about what you have to deal with, contacting the government, Medicaid, etc. It's all there on our town's website. Make sure you check it out. Gabby, what do you got for me here? Oh, Trace Cottage. Oh, I love these folks. Come on over here. Have them come on over. Hey, Kimberly, how are you? I'm good. Good to see you again. Good to see you. And this and over here we have Raul and Eddie, right? I have, to, I have to keep bringing you in. I don't know how big the camera. I'm probably not even in the shot anymore. You want to... <laughs> Kimberly, you have been helping us out for many, many years with the Treyas Cottage. So tell us, tell us a little bit about first the business. So the Treyas Cottage was actually started by my husband and I back in 2016. It was just like a really fun like arts and craft beer night project we would do every single week. And what we noticed after a few months is we had like a whole notebook full of these like awesome designs. Like we never really saw them as designs. We just saw them as like, you know, like a cool, like, you know, a cool drawing. And then I was like, oh, let's put one on a t-shirt, put it on Etsy, see how it does. And we were really surprised by, you know, the response and the feedback. So, so then Miami, right? Of course. I, I love your colors. That's the truth. The colors and everything you do are so fabulous. You just got married then. Well, we had just gotten married in 2016, so instead of, in lieu of going out on date nights and spending money, we were just, like, reinvesting back into the business and drawing more, you know, cooking up more designs. And that's really where we are today. But, you know, as Miami Lakers, we really do want to um, make this the most inclusive town ever. So we give back as much as we can. Um, and a percent of our proceeds each month goes back to a different autism organization. So that's why we believe so much in this event and in our town, because we really do make this inclusive place for everyone now how did you first get involved with the board because i remember when i first started the board i you guys were already involved yeah so it's a little bit of a funny story um i kept wanting to volunteer and i kept wanting to um be a part of the special needs board so i actually i ran into vivian one day manny said uh, connected the two of us and it was a match made in heaven because I love Vivian. She's so amazing. And ever since then, I've done whatever I can. I wish I could do more um, and be a part of the board, you know, one day. Um, but yeah, it, it's all thanks to Manny and Vivian to, you know, that opened the doors and allowed me to be a part of it. And now you're here tonight. Now you guys have donated some nice stuff that's on our auction table. I saw that. You want to tell us a little bit about uh, what that is? Well, we have some of our best sellers out on the auction table, and then we've also sponsored a gold photo wall. You can't miss it once you walk in. So definitely take a selfie, take a quick uh, couple pick or family pick, and just enjoy the evening. If folks want to learn more, though, about your business, they're not here tonight. If they want to learn about your business or what you guys do and produce, how can they find out information? So everything can be found on our website, the Treyas Cottage at com. Sorry, <laughs> giving you the email. <laughs> the email address, um, or you can look up our Instagram. And Treyas is spelled T R E L L E S. 
There you go, folks. Well, thank you, Kimberly. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for coming by. I don't want to keep you from uh, in, not enjoying the night's festivities. So. We've got to go spend our mini bucks. Yeah. Go, <laughs> I, you know, I was talking to a folks earlier. I, I was telling them, you know, that actually comes directly out of Manny's bank account. <laughs> <laughs> when he wakes up tomorrow, oh, he's going to be like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have a great night. Thanks for talking thank with us. Thank you so much. We're live at the uh, Marist Gala 2023 here in the town of Miami Lakes. I'm John Roger. Thanks for being with us. And that was one of our sponsors for tonight, the Treyas College. You can find them uh, at uh, on social media. And, again, that's spelled T-R-E-L-L-E-S. All right. So what do we got? We got more people coming in here tonight. The place is starting to pack up, and definitely we're running out of time uh, for this evening. I know at some point we're supposed to be seeing the folks from Univita. They're going to be coming by. We're still live for just a few more minutes. Uh, and we'll try to get them in here before we uh, get off the air because it's already 7.30. So the event is getting ready to get underway. Just remember, on the bottom below there on the video, you can click on a link, and that will help you get to a spot where you can donate to our board tonight. So if you're not able to get out, that's okay. The donation you make tonight will go into this fundraiser for this evening and be given back to the Special Needs Advisory Board. You know what? Uh, let's see if I can grab uh, Gabby real quick here. I want to do a couple of things before we sign off for the night. We're still waiting for Univita. We want to definitely talk to them because they are our big sponsor tonight, the headliner. They donated a whopping $10,000 off the bat to make this event happen tonight. So we are really thankful for all they did. And also, somewhere is Manny Sid. I don't know where he is. He's supposed to come by and talk with us here. Can you send Vivian over? I'm going to have Vivian come over and talk a little bit more about our programs real quick here before it, we get done on this evening. So, uh, again, you can learn more about the Special Needs Advisory Board on our town's website, the Town of Miami Lakes website right there. You can go to Special Needs Advisory Board, and all of the details about our board is there, our mission, our goals, and things that we are working on. Uh, before we wrap up here for tonight, yeah, we're, uh, we, we're missing two people that we're still waiting for, so i, I got to talk to you for a little bit. Um, we're still waiting for the mayor, <laughs> even though we're going over time. We're waiting for the mayor, and we're waiting for our folks from Univita. This, this is incredible. Uh, you know, you the years we've been doing the Mayor's Gala, I think we're now at what? Is this fourth, the fourth year? Yes, I believe so. The fourth year, and we've never had a title sponsor before, and Univita came up and said, hey, we'll give you ten grand." And I said, why not? I mean, that kickstarts off the fundraising we do and helps us bring more programs to this community. And Vivian uh, is our vice chair. She was the former chair for many years. And, you know, you can talk a little bit actually about why when we raise this money, where is it going? It's going to programs that help put together for the people in this community. And you helped start a lot of them. Tell us a little bit about some of our programs. Absolutely, John. Um, we started out our first program was is a dance program. was still going on today. Very successful. It even has a waiting list. Uh, we partner up with Arts for Autism. Actually, um, Audrey, Miss Audrey, is coming. So, I yes. Yeah, so definitely um, be talking to her as well. Uh, my son takes part in the program. They um, they have a ton of fun over there. There's two classes. Uh, one for the younger ones, and the level two is for teenagers and up. So um, we also have two programs on the pike. Um, that it, One is an animation class for adults, and another one is martial arts. Uh, we're very excited about starting these, these two new programs. We also have, uh, we do a lot of events for uh, a lot of workshops for parents, um, for the community and it's very exciting for us to be here tonight and you know continue to bring these programs to the town Vivian, another thing that we are also working on as I'm trying to get the, the mayor over here so we can talk to him about this before we sign off for the night Another thing we've been working on is the uh, classes the programs that we're going to be offering for people to be able to attend uh, we haven't finished the list yet of all the things and I have already told folks if they want head to the town website click on the send an email button let us know what you think we should bring to the community but a couple of them we did last year we did one with a BCBA and our little ABA talk and then how, how ABA therapy can help you the one that was really important was the guardianship and that was with the town attorneys can you tell us a little bit about what that's like and what those programs will be like that we're going to offer all next year Definitely, John. Yes, we were very lucky. Our town attorney is very involved 
And um, he, he, along with some other attorneys from the town, they um, gave a workshop about um, the guardianship. It's something that all special needs families need to look into. Um, and also uh, the special needs trust. So uh, we were very lucky to have this group of attorneys including our town attorney, uh, Lorenzo Cobiella, uh, come and explain to all the families how important it is um, for them to look into this for their children and get them all set up for the future. Um, we're looking forward to doing a lot more of these workshops, you know, behavior workshops. Um, also, I don't know, John, have you spoken about the program we have with the police? Yeah, the special needs safety program. I mentioned it a couple of times. You know, uh, one of the things that's really interesting about it is is that we we've actually kind of improved it, and there's now I don't I, ha, I don't have the details in front of me, so I can't say it specifically. But there's been a passage of a law in the state of Florida that now allows us to keep everything we get, all data for these people in our community, completely private. So there's no sunshine requests that can't be seen. People, a lot of people always. We say, I'm always afraid about my information getting out. That's not going to happen. But what is going to happen is if you give us your information through this safety program, the Miami-Dade Police Department, not just the town of Miami Lakes, the Miami-Dade Police Department will know what they need to know before they get in there. Speaking of a special guest, here he is. Right. Look at the mayor of Miami Lakes himself, Manny Sid. Manny, how you doing? Uh, listen, fantastic. I'm here with my wife, Melissa. Uh, tonight's going to be a, a special night. As always, we're here raising funds together for our special needs community, and specifically our board, who does an amazing job. I mean, these folks right here are the real heroes in our community who put in the work. And so these are the folks that you're going to see today uh, running around, doing a uh, volunteering. But during the year, they're ensuring that services are being delivered for our special needs community. So when you guys donate, talk to them because you see where the money's going. This is not a big nonprofit that you never see any money, you don't know where it's going. No, no, this is being delivered here in our community every single day. Manny, I was telling Vivian just a minute ago, I think this is going to be one of our biggest nights ever. Not only is the place more packed than I've ever seen it before, but we landed a major sponsor in Univita helping us bring in 10 grand to start the whole thing off tonight, which was huge, and we're so thankful for that work that they've been putting into making this happen. Univita, shout out to them. Big deal. $10,000 they donated. They said they wanted to be the main sponsors. They stepped up, not only tonight, but here in our community. They opened up a center right here to make sure there's incredible services for our residents. So make sure you support Univida because they're supporting us and they're supporting our town. And they wanted to be our special needs advisory board main sponsor for our gala. So any last things you want to say before you head in there? Because I know you're eager to get to the last front. things? We're going to oh. be jamming out all night, bro. What do you mean last Well, days? we're not going to be last things on the live, on the Facebook live for all the folks. <laughs> She's like, I'm, I'm good. Right, we're going to run into it. We'll see you in a second. We're going to do some other videos. But these folks are going to rock it. Check them out. Check them out. They look great tonight, so we're going to have a great time. All right. Thank you, Manny. Appreciate it. Mayor of Miami Lakes, Manny Sid, with us tonight. He's the uh, headliner of the Mayor's Gala, wouldn't you say? So, and then, oh, good. Uh, Miami Lakes Med Spa is here, and they're going to come talk to us. So, Vivian, thank you again. Appreciate everything. And this is the lady that's going to be checking you in when you come in. That's our, our vice chair, Vivian. And uh, go ahead. Bring them on in here. Let's talk. Let's talk. So we have the folks from Miami Lakes Med Spa coming in here. I'm great. How are you doing tonight? You guys look like you're ready to party, man. So, okay, uh, I see. Let's see. Armando, Giovanni, Sabrina, and Leslie. So who's, which one are you? Sabrina and Leslie's over there. All right, guys. Well, let's talk a little bit about Miami Lakes Med Spa. Uh, you know, first off, tell us a little bit about what you guys do. Yeah, so basically we're a medical spa here locally in Miami Lakes Med Spa. We provide aesthetic services for uh, beauty and rejuvenation. We provide multiple services like Botox, fillers, microneedling, and, and laser treatments and things like that, basically. What was it that made you say, "I want to"? we want to open this place in Miami Lakes? Well, it's everything about Miami Lakes, right? The culture, the atmosphere, the, the, um, the, the business friendliness that they have in this town. The, uh, the, we also live here. We also that helps, here. right? We love Miami Lakes, and we knew that wherever we opened it, it was going to be where it was home. So. I'm very good. 
and uh, of course being involved in the Mayor's Gala is a, is a must for you guys, right? Oh, absolutely. We definitely want to be involved in, in the community and we want to give back. Uh, we want to be a, a part of the positive change happening in this town and this is something that we definitely love being a part of. Fantastic. If guys want to learn more, or if folks want to learn more about the, your med spa and where you guys are located and what you guys offer, how can they find that information? On our website at MiamiLakesMedSpa.com or you can also give us a call at 305-418-0392 and you can also follow us on Instagram. All right. That sounds good. All right. I'm not going to keep you. Get back to the party. Have fun. Have Thank you guys. Time. We appreciate your sponsorship here tonight as we continue live from the 2023 Mayor's Gala in the town of Miami Lakes. And we're still waiting for Univita to get in here and talk with us. Hopefully, we'll be talking to them soon so we can wrap things up and then get inside and start the party. Everybody's making their way in here. Come over here, Audrey. I'm going to have you talk for just a second. You know, we've been talking all night long. Vivian and I have mentioned about this amazing Arts for Autism program, our dance program, which is one of the original programs that the board started bringing to the town of Miami Lakes. Audrey is the lady who's in charge of it here. She's just walked in. Sorry to grab you out of the line, but tell us a little bit about how you got started with doing what you do well first and foremost I had a passion for working with the autistic population and I love dancing so I figured let's combine my two passions and give autistic students a chance to express themselves through music and movement and have a whole lot of fun and uh, when did you guys decide to get connected with the board and, and offer this program here in the town of Miami Lakes so one of our original students' um, mom was on the board of the Special Needs Advisory Board, Vivian, and she knew about our program because she's her son was one of our first students, and he's been with us ever since, and so she was a huge supporter about uh, what we do at the Arts for Autism Foundation and invited us to, to be a part of the town of Miami Lakes and provide the services for, for the community. And once you guys got things underway, it seems like it has grown leaps and bounds. Even last year during the summertime, I think we had up to three different classes going at once. Uh, explain that experience and what is it like for the children here that maybe the parents don't know that this even exists yet? Yes. So we started off actually in Miami Lakes 10 years ago and um, we were a small business and I saw the demand there was for this population and I saw the struggles in all the costs with different types of therapies. So I, I went through the process of be, making it a nonprofit to offer all the services for free for the families. So once we did that, it opened up the doors to many families coming in. So we have on average 60 students per, per session. Um, each class is about 20 students and we've had up to three classes. We've done summer camps, we do yoga, we do gymnastics, but our, our main flagship program is that dance program. That's the most popular one. And one of the cool things about what this event is for tonight, the Mayor's Gala, the money that we're raising, what it goes to in the Special Needs Advisory Board is we help put together scholarships for folks that live in the town to have their kids in that in that program. Not just other programs, but also the Arts for Autism program. So we do these scholarships, and the children get to go, and it, it doesn't cost the family a thing. Correct. There's no... Everywhere you go, that's where it's always like, how much can you spend? You know, but in this case, we're making sure that that happens. So that's why we appreciate your work and, of course, appreciate the support people give us here tonight. So, Audrey, thank you. I'll let you get back to the event, and thanks for all you do. Thank okay. you. For what you do. One more thing. If folks want to learn more about Arts for Autism, how can they find you guys? SpectrumDanceTherapy.com or at underscore, at arts underscore for or underscore autism at arts for autism there you go all right audrey thank you so much appreciate it and we're live at the mayor's gala 2023 john roger from the special needs advisory board we are so glad that you could join us here this evening as you heard that's one of the folks that helps put together our event tell me it's univita Oh, it's the Mayor's Cafe. All right. Bring them over here. We'll talk to the Mayor's Cafe. I guess I'm just going to keep going the rest of the night. Let's see. Coming in here is Vinny. How you doing, man? Good to see you again, huh? I know this guy. I, I had lunch with him once. <laughs> Christina, this nice to meet you. Christina. It's a pleasure. And guys, thank you for being us. Uh, obviously, this is the Mayor's Gala, so I guess the Mayor's Cafe sponsoring kind of is like a two and two plus four. So, Danny, tell us a little bit about the Mayor's Cafe, though. It's not just Manny's place, right? It, um, he is part of it, and he's part of the success of uh, Mayor's Cafe. And, and, you know, my wife is also a big part of the success as well. 
and uh, I think the community as well. I started telling people about this cafe about a year ago because I went there for the first time and was just blown away by how great the food is and how wonderful the atmosphere is. And people have started finding the Maris Cafe and saying, wow, this is like a hidden gem right in the middle of the town. You didn't even know it was there if you didn't stop by the, the, the plaza to see it. What was the inspiration for getting this thing started? Hometown feel, right? What, uh, what uh, Miami Lakes is all about which is uh, bringing people together, kind of like visiting your grandmother's kitchen, and together, break bread, and family, always welcome. I feel like, um, it filled a gap in Miami Lakes that Miami Lakes was missing for a really long time. Having grown up in Miami Lakes, we grew up at uh, Brothers of Brooklyn, and after that cafe you know, ran its course, there was really no really incredible place to get breakfast where you could sit and get a classic French toast or pancakes and they filled the need. And now speaking of, uh, of the work that you guys have done, you have an interesting background uh, can, coming from the sports world. Tell us a little bit about that. So I'm a retired athlete. Um, I'm just a retired athlete, that's all. <laughs> um, used to play with the uh, organization and uh, now a restaurateur. You hear that? You ever come to Maris Cafe, you're going to see a, le a living legend. There you go. <laughs> I don't know about that, but. <laughs> well, Danny, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate you coming by. Uh, and folks, of course, can learn more by going to the Mayor's Cafe right in the middle of town next to Winn-Dixie. That's how I always say it. Where's that? It's next to Winn-Dixie. It's great. You can't miss it. You guys go inside. Go have some fun. Come on. I don't want you being stuck with me. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Meet me at Mayor's. Again, there you go. <laughs> All right, the folks from the Mayor's Cafe as we uh, continue our Facebook Live here tonight. Remember, by the way, on the bottom of the video, you can click on that link that says Donate. Any money that you donate tonight is going to go straight to the Special Needs Advisory Board. So we would love to have you donate. If you couldn't be coming out tonight, if you weren't able to attend, just click the button for Donate, and you'll be able to give to us. And we appreciate it because all that money that's raised tonight and throughout this event is going straight to the Special Needs Advisory Board so we can continue to put on great programs here in our community and great events and great information informational uh, you know workshops that help families in this community and keep our town an inclusive town. our goal is to be the most inclusive town here in the town of Miami in town of Miami Day County right uh, let's see I'm looking I see someone else is coming over here in just a minute we got it okay come on over Chad good to see you. hey good thank you for coming by you look fantastic. Thank you, sir. See, You're I need to lose a little weight now. Well, you need to come to Caution Crossfit. That's what I thought. See, yeah. I knew he was going to say <laughs> that. So Caution Crossfit, uh, we guys came last year. I saw you guys here last year, and you had some really amazing auction items. And uh, the folks that, that participated in the programs said, what an amazing place that you guys had. And the vibe and the feel of Caution Cross, uh, Crossfit, I've been talking for an hour, um, it's just, it's different. It's not the same as another gym. So tell us a little bit why that is. Well, uh, Crossfit is a community-based business. And because it's a community-based business, what we try to do is we try to bring everybody in here. And co Crossfit is like exactly like golf. No matter how bad you are or how good you are, anybody can show up and join and become a member and then be part of the community because that's the beauty and that's the magic that keeps people coming back every time. When you started this program, when you built it here in the town, what made you come to Miami Lakes? I came to Miami Lakes because of the military, and I was very fortunate because a deal didn't work out with a house in Doral, and I w was able to move into Meadowalk Apartments. I looked up Caution CrossFit, and I walked in, and I met Dom, and I met the family, and I immediately knew that this was the place that I need to uh, spend time and spend all most in all of my time at the gym because with CrossFit you end up spending your entire day there. It's not just for an hour. So. You're never going to leave. No, no, absolutely not. So if folks wanted to learn more about Caution CrossFit, how do they go? Uh, what does that go? Website, social media? Uh, Caution CrossFit or Caution Fitness on Instagram and or the website. And then just reach out to us or just come by. The address is there. Come by. We're open from 5 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. Monday through Friday, and then open on Saturdays and Sundays, too, as well. Right. Sounds fantastic. We appreciate everything you're doing to be a part of the Mayor's Gala here tonight. Thank you so much, and we look for – uh-oh. Hi, Vivian. Before we let Chad go, I wanted to mention – I don't know if he mentioned that he does a fitness class at Gigi's Playhouse. No, he didn't mention that. Why don't you <laughs> – well, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, at, at Gigi's Playhouse on Thursdays, we actually do CrossFit at 430. So – 
anyone can come, come help volunteer, come help work out, and show up, and you're going to do CrossFit. It, it is no yoga, it's no stretching, it's no anything. You're going to have weights, you're going to push sleds, we're going to go to the Optimus Park, and we're going to have a lot of fun. Wow, that's fantastic. An amazing coach. Ryan has done the class several times, and he's he's incredible. We're going to say. They're lucky to have him. I feel the vibe already over here. <laughs> I, I, he walked up, and I said, well, I think I need to stop eating all those pizzas. I don't like, you know, uh, being on camera and stuff, but I, I, that had to be mentioned. That had to be mentioned. All right. Thank you, Vivian. I know she's leaving now. Thank you so much. I appreciate all that you do. And, and we want you to enjoy the night, so don't just stuck with me here. <laughs> all right. We've got more people coming in. This is Dominico's. All right. Let's stop Dominico's over here. No, they don't want to talk. <laughs> it's all right. No worries. Gabby, I need you to find me Univita as soon as possible. Chance to talk to them here. She's working on it right now. This is fantastic, man. The place is packed. Thank you all who have actually participated in this by buying a ticket here tonight. Many of you might watch this later on and be like, wow, hey, I didn't even know they were doing a Facebook Live before we came in. No, thank you for what you've done. Thank you for the donations. Thank you for the assistance tonight. And thank you for coming out and being a part of this. If you missed it, it's okay. You can come next year. We'll do another one, I guarantee it. And also, if you missed it and you want to donate, you want to be a part of this, there's a link below this video. You can click on it. You can click to donate any a dollar amount. It doesn't matter. And uh, that money goes straight to the Special Needs Advisory Board so we can continue offering the programs and the workshops and the uh, registry programs and the special safety program that we do, all the things we do with the town, that is huge, and uh, it's all thanks to you. It's all thanks to your donations. As I've mentioned before, our board is different than the rest of the boards here in the town. The other boards in the town, they get their money through the use uh, of the taxes in the town. Ours is 100% donation. So everything we raise, we raise here at the Mayor's Gala, that's what comes back to us, and that's what we use to provide your uh, families, your friends, uh, children and adults in this community with the programs that we put together. Lots of folks still making their way in here tonight, and we're almost finished just waiting for you, Navita, to come over here and talk to us. As soon as they come over, then we'll uh, wrap it up and we'll get things started in this evening for this event. And a big thank you again to all the folks that have helped us put it together, the mayor himself uh, and his assistant, Joseph, Jonathan, our camera guy who's over, been over here, Gabby, has been running around getting information for us, our uh, vice chair, Vivian, uh, Madeline, is a member of our board, is here tonight. And the folks that could not make it out tonight, we have uh, uh, Francisco, he's a member of our board, and he's supposed to be coming out at some point. Clary is a member of our board, and also one of the folks that runs Gigi's Playhouse here in town, also a member of our board, is Alexandra. She couldn't make it tonight. She's having a baby soon, so she's going to be at home resting. Thank you for all that you do as well. And, uh, of course, who am I missing? I think I'm missing someone. Oh, Jasenia and Jasenia, who's not here tonight as well. Thank you for all that you guys do as well in our board. You can come meet us anytime. We have local meetings every first Wednesday of the month at 5.30 p.m. at the town hall. If you want to come by and see what we do, if you'd like to speak at the public comment time, or if you have an idea or something you'd like to propose to see if we can work together, we're always open for ideas. That is our goal is to partner with as many people as possible because trying to do all this in the town by ourselves would be a logical nightmare, basically. What we found, though, is there's so many great nonprofit organizations that are already helping folks in the community, and what we can do with them is be able to partner up with them and use our funds to be able to put programs together, like Arts for Autism, the animation classes that are coming, the first time that's ever been done for adults with special needs, 21 and older, and our dojo program, which is a non-contact karate type uh, martial arts that's really very unique, and that's going to be offered soon. Both of those are in the pike. We got more programs that we're trying to put together as well, and you can learn more about the Special Needs Advisory Board and what we're doing and all the programs that we do offer on the town of Miami Lakes' website. You can click on Special Needs Advisory Board. Okay. I'm trying to uh, stretch this just a little bit longer for Univita Medical Center so they can get over here because if they don't, we're going to have to pull it in. We saw the mayor earlier just a few minutes ago. He's excited. He's pumped up, and he's here tonight. I've been saying his bank account is going to be pretty drained tomorrow when they find out how much money he spent on things that's really fun about 
This one, you know, a lot of galas, it's just sit down, you eat, and that's about it, right? Well, our gala is fun. We have casino tables. You can actually play, have fun, win some money. There's free food from Cellas. Our big friends at Cellas have brought in some great food for tonight. We showed you that a little bit earlier. Bacardi is back. They've got all the drinks flowing for tonight. So as you came in out this evening, you're going to have a lot of fun. Let me run through this sponsor list one more time. Hopefully by then Univita will be over. But Univita Medical Centers, our major sponsor here for tonight, the Hollywood Highliner, they brought in a $10,000 donation for this evening. We can't thank them enough for what they are doing. Uh, Fantasy Designers, they are always the ones who build our sets and put everything together. The place looks beautiful. Bacardi, Cellas, we mentioned those as well. 30 Hertz Music, our DJ for tonight. Eight Layer Solutions, Abraham Ruse. AC Graphics Digital, Acosta Tractors, Bel Air Maintenance, Cooling Power, offering the air conditioning for this evening. Dr. Limon's Ceviche Bar, EZ Pharmacy in Hollandale, First Origin Mortgage, Floridian Clinical Research, Gatesi, Lopez, and Mestre PP or PLLC, Glenda Anders, Lake Dialysis, Lake Orthodontics, uh, Lazaritos Barber Shop, Myers Cafe, Miami Lakes Auto Mall, Miami Lakes Med Spa, Miami Luxury Auto Rental, New Century Agriculture, New Century Government Affairs, Nicholas Children's Hospital, NSU Medical Center, Power Parties, Rolo Transport. I got a list that just keeps going on and on and on. <laughs> We had over 40 different sponsors for tonight with very thing. I just I can't get my hand on it. Okay, SFM Services, Sierra Medical Center, Specialty Smiles Orthodontics, Sun City Strategies, Tank Brewing, The Graham Companies, The Office of Senator Rene Garcia, Travis Cottage, uh, Tommy Succedos, Vicky Bakery, Vita Custom Designs, Vitas Healthcare, and Vivo Real Estate, all sponsors here for this evening at the 2023 Town of Miami Lakes Mayor's Gala. Oh boy, you want to talk? Come on in here, come on in here. Okay. Right, tell everybody who you are. Sure, my name is Lorenzo Cobiea. I am the uh, Deputy Town Attorney for Miami Lakes. You know what's so important about him? We were just talking about the Vivian actually was over here talking about what you guys did for us in one of our workshops, uh, putting together a special needs workshop yeah. that we were talking about guardianship and the special needs trust, which is huge. There's so many families don't know how important both of those really are. Yes. Well, actually, that's one of the things that we did. We uh, reached out to other attorneys in the community and we discussed uh, guardianships. We discussed special needs trust. You know, uh, special need uh, children, as they grow up and they become adults, there's many legal needs that they need. You got to make sure that you have certain instruments set up, uh, certain uh, court proceedings that are done, uh, things that are done. So to make sure that their care is taken as they uh, age out and then they grow up to be, you know, uh, adults in, in the community and, and that they can become uh, uh, obviously uh, influential. And, and, you know, each each child that, that becomes a special needs adult has something to contribute to society, but they need to do that within the confines of, of the legal system. And so we got to make sure that their legal rights are protected as much as uh, they're, they're also protected from the outside world. And one of the things I had mentioned earlier, actually, was that you have these situations where once you turn 18 years old, you know, if you're special needs and you can't, you know, you can't really think for yourself, but the parents didn't think to get guardianship. Um, if anything happens tragically, which we don't want to happen, they're, let, they're held responsible for it as an adult. But with guardianship, the parents are able to say, hey, wait a minute, our child is great. You know, he's, he's learned a lot, but he still isn't fully unaware of what he's doing. And those consequences are harsh for a person that doesn't know what's going on. And that's why guardianship is so important. Absolutely. With a guardianship program, the parent is able to protect the child way into adult and make sure that uh, those rights which they can't you know, fully exercise and those rights which may get them into, in, into trouble unnecessarily because they really don't understand the consequences of their actions, they're protected from those actions. And so a guardianship is a very good um, actual tool out there. Uh, and, and for that, we have so many great attorneys here in the town of Miami Lakes that are able to help uh, parents through that process. Speaking of that, we're going to have another workshop with you guys coming up next year in 2024, so we're excited. All right. I'm very excited to, to be part of it and very excited to be here and, and give back. Definitely, Lorenzo. Thank you so much. I'll let you go back in there and, and get back to the event before it's too late because it's already underway. We, I mean, we're already way ahead of our time. Uh, is this the folks from Univita? Please come over. We've been waiting a long time to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. What, what's your, for a while, right? uh, I, well, I hope so. What's your name? 
I'm Dr. Orlando Rodriguez. I'm the Chief Executive Officer for Univida Medical Centers. Doctor, I appreciate so much for what you have done here tonight. You know, we were talking about this throughout the broadcast. $10,000 sponsorship. You really, you came in and you've made a huge impact in this gala, which the Special Needs Advisory Board. What was the thought on trying to do this? Well, for us, it's an honor and a privilege uh, to be here and, and, and to share with everybody, including the mayor, uh, his, uh, his ideas of uh, helping the community, especially uh, people that are disabled, uh, people with neurological problems and mental d disease. Uh, for us was extremely important, especially coming from a company uh, whose uh, vision and mission is essentially that to improve the quality of care in our community and, and, and eliminate uh, the stigma of uh, biases of uh, based on uh, socioeconomic uh, by issues like ethnicity, etc., including physical and mental disabilities. For us was extremely important. In, in fact, uh, we opened up a big medical center recently here in of uh, Miami Lakes, uh, which uh, brings in all the technology and uh, all the, uh, uh, the the expertise, the medical expertise, uh, to give the best uh, care, uh, world-class health care uh, to the citizens of, uh, of uh, Miami Lakes. For us, uh, it's extremely important uh, to be here t today uh, to support that cause. I was going to bring up that new facility. Everyone can see it there right on the Palmetto as you come off the exit for uh, 154. It is a fabulous-looking facility. You guys decide, hey, you know what? We need to open up at Miami Lakes. Well, it was a mission. That our mission has always been to elevate the quality of care in our community, and, and we've done so uh, in the past two years when the idea came up uh, for the first time, and we've been able to accomplish it uh, very nicely. Right now we have 20 different uh, uh, offices in in South Florida, including this new facility, which is uh, a world-class facility, state-of-the-art, where we have the best technology um, in equipment for dental, for, you know, the prevention, the diagnosis, and treatment of uh, all diseases. Um, if folks want to learn a little bit more about Univita Medical Centers and the location here and all the locations that you have, uh, where can they find that information about? Oh, they could find it in the website, unividamedicalcenters.com. I mean, you could go there, you could visit, or you could visit one of our facilities, and then you'll soon realize, you know, everything that we have to offer for you. It's a world-class facility with the best technology out there for you. To help you out, we have a network of specialists uh, that, that is uh, second to none. Uh, we have... Uh, uh, created a department uh, for to take care of those uh, disabled people at home that we know that they have uh, no ways or no means of coming in into our offices and we have created this program called the Univida at Home where we go and we visit them at home and we provide them with medications, we provide them with the attention and medical care that they so much need. That's fantastic information. Thank you for sharing with us. Thank you for sponsoring here for tonight. Now, I know you, the event's already underway, so we don't want to keep you from it. Dr. Orlando, I thank you for everything, and uh, we look forward to dancing with you later tonight. Thank you very much, and you always can count on Univida for anything that has to do with improving the quality of care in our community and with helping people in need. Sounds fantastic. Thank you, Dr. Orlando. That, uh, that wraps it up pretty much for us here. The event is already underway. We thank you all for tuning in on our Facebook Live here at the Town of Miami Lakes' page. Remember, one last time, if you want to, go to the bottom of this video. There is a link down there. You can click on the link, and you can donate for tonight. If you're not able to make it out here this evening, that's okay. Just go ahead and click the Donate button, and any money that you donate goes straight to the Special Needs Advisory Board. I am the chair of the Special Needs Advisory Board. My name is John Roger. For the vice chair, uh, Vivian, as well as our uh, great members that are here tonight, Gabby, and I, I don't see Francis. He hasn't made it out here yet. Uh, and, of course, uh, you know, also, let's see, Clary. Uh, Clary was not going to make it out tonight. And Alexandra, Madeline, who's over here right now, and all of our uh, folks, Jessenia, thank you so much for all that you do. Again, if you ever want to stop by and see us, we have our meetings every first Wednesday of the month at 5.30 p.m. at the Town Hall. We would love to see you. We'd love to talk with you, share ideas and great concepts for what we can do to continue making Miami Lakes a model town for inclusion. Thanks for joining us for the Mayor's Gala 2023 here on Facebook Live. John Roger signing out. We will see you again next year.